What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get a little more range out of your VTX on your toy or hobby drone. Specifically, I'm gonna be using the Emax Tiny Hawk S. Now before I get into it, if you guys enjoy this video and you find it helpful and you learn a little something, consider subscribing to the channel for more content on filmmaking and FPV drones. So most of these small toy and hobby drones, they come from a manufacturer in either a bind and fly or ready to fly. They're not really usually pre-built models. And one of the things that they like to do with these kind of pre-made ready to fly setups is that they wanna keep them nice and neat and have a really nice presentation for the people who are getting them and who wanna fly them. And one of those things is tucking all of the cables and hiding all of the circuitry and everything away inside this plastic housing. Now that's really great for presentation, it makes it look nice and sleek, but what it also does is block a little bit of the signal that's coming from your headset and the video transmitter inside this because now it has to go through this hard plastic shell. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is actually pull out the antenna, taking off the bottom and kind of moving the circuit boards out of the way and get the antenna into a better place where you're gonna get more signal and a better range on your VTX. So let's get right into it. Obviously you're gonna need a couple tools to make this happen. The first one is a tiny screwdriver. You just wanna get one small enough to be able to take the screws off on the bottom plate of your drone. I'd also suggest getting a pair of tweezers. It makes it a little bit easier and you don't have to take it as much apart if you have some tweezers that you can get in there and kind of pull some things around. So on the bottom of the drone itself, we have a couple screws with the Emacs Tiny Hawk S. We have four little screws, so one, two, three, and four. So the first thing we're gonna do is take all four of those off. Once all four of those screws are out, you wanna keep track of them, they are tiny, so put them in a place where they're not gonna get lost. The next thing that you're gonna do is kind of start to just work the circuit board and everything off of this. That's really the only thing holding this whole thing together is those four little screws. So once we pull it off here, we can see we're still connected by a quite a bit of things. We have the motors that are connected to it, as well as the camera that's connected to the VTX and the flight controller and everything in here. But if you can tip it off to the side, you can see in there and you can see some of the different antennas. Now, there's two different antennas for these small drones. The first one is going to be this one. In this case, it's a gray one. It's just a thin, tiny antenna, and this is for the flight controller. So this is what actually connects to your radio so you can control the drone with an external joystick. The next one, which is your video transmitter, and that's the one that has this kind of big blocky thing on the end of it. It's also a thin antenna, but there is this kind of bulge. That's going to be the antenna for your VTX, and that's what we wanna stick out the top. So if you look down through or on the uh, the back of the drone here you can see there's kind of this little like window in the back right on the other side of the camera and that's where we're going to want to stick that antenna through so now we know where we're trying to put it we're just going to flip it over and again try and just feed it in there into that little hole on the bottom you can see i started to get it out here you can see a little tip of it you can just grab it with your hands Luckily, I didn't really need the tweezers too much for this one. Sometimes I've had to use the tweezers, sometimes I haven't. But you just wanna pull it out the back here, and you don't wanna pull it too tight, but just having it stick out like this is gonna give you a much better signal on your video transmitter, and it's gonna have a little bit more range as well as not cutting out as much when you go behind objects. But that's really all we have to do, super simple setup, and now we can go back and assemble it together. We we'll wanna tuck the flight controller one back in there. You could also stick this one out if you wanted to, but the range on the flight controller is gonna be a lot further than the range on the video transmitter. So that one staying inside the shell isn't gonna to be too big of an issue. We'll just make sure we put that back in there. I don't wanna pinch it in. And then we can push back down on the flight controller and the ESC and everything like that. That's gonna get us sitted back on those posts. If you happen to have any of the rubber grommets come off that you use on those posts, something similar to like this thing, what you wanna do is slide it back onto the board first. Might be a little bit hard to see here. Slide it onto the board just like that. There's kind of a little groove that it sits in right there. And then you can go down and sit it onto that post. So we have all four of those back together. Now we're just gonna go and put those four screws back in and we're all done. So you have it, a super simple way to get better signal on your tiny drone. If you have any questions about this process, or you just wanna talk about FPV drones or filmmaking, shoot me a message over on Instagram. We'll try to get back to you and help you out the best I can. You can also leave questions in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new videos as often as I can post them. And I'll see you guys.
in the next one.